Welcome everyone. I am Dr. Harish Verma, Assistant Professor in Division of Pediatric Hematology and Oncology, Kasturba Medical College, Manipur. Today, we will be discussing about pediatric bone tumors. So, what are bone tumors? So, bone tumors, as the name implies, uh, cancers arising from any part of the bone in the present in the body. So, whenever we tell pediatric brain bone tumors, the main there are two types of bone tumors which can arise in the children and adults which are medically they are called as osteosarcoma and ewing sarcoma so we will be discussing first about osteosarcoma then uh, we will be discussing about ewing sarcoma so what is osteosarcoma again it is a cancer arising from the bone so mainly it is seen in adolescent and young adults that is usually around 10 to more than 10 years of age that is in the where the height of the child rapidly increases and also in the young adults so mostly the child, uh, these patients usually come with pain around the knee joint and uh, on they can also present with pain swelling all around the knee joint in addition to the knee joint there are other areas which commonly uh, this cancer can occur is around the ankle joint, around the shoulder joint and also in the hip joint. It is very rarely, very very rarely it can occur in the pelvic bones and in the vertebral bones. So once the uh, child presents with increasing pain, increasing swelling, uh, usually they present to their, their local doctors or local orthopedician. The first uh, uh, at Firstly, they, they may consider some possibility of infection or they may pos consider some possibility of trauma. So, they may give some topical antibiotics and all. But even on that, if the pain is not responding and if the pain is increasing in severity, then a possibility of underlying malignancy should be strongly considered. In such cases, the child should be promptly referred to an orthopedic oncologist or a pediatric oncologist. So, once the child comes to an oncologist, the first investigation which is done is an X-ray of the local area. So in the extra of the local area, if the bones, underlying bones are abnormal and if there is any possible suspicion of malignancy based on the X-ray features, then the oncologist will further go on and order an MRI of the involved region, that is if MRI of the knee or MRI of the ankle where it is involved. So in the MRI, the further details of the malignancy will be uh, whether uh, how much the malignancy has spread and whether it is involved, what is the status of the nerves, what is the status of the arteries or the blood vessels, uh, what is the status of the muscles, all these things will be noted. So subsequently, the child will be subjected to one what is called biopsy of the region. So usually in uh, adolescents and younger uh, young adults, biopsy is done as an outpatient basis using a local anesthesia. In young children or somewhere, sometimes when the deep-seated lesions were uh, only then the child will be this biopsy procedure will be done in operation theater using general anesthesia so once the treatment is completed the child is usually kept under follow-up under both pediatric oncologist as well as a orthopedic oncologist for up to a period of five years so regarding the outcome uh, if the disease has not spread any elsewhere and the disease is only uh, limited to the involved bone only then the outcome is good it is usually around 70 percent means out of 10 seven children will be cured however if the disease has spread to the other areas involving the lungs and all then the outcome is not good uh, it, it usually decreases to less than 50 percent so that's why for initially early diagnosis early suspicion of malignancy before it spreads to the other areas and then early referral to orthopedic oncologist or a pediatric oncologist to a tertiary cancer care center is always important uh, for a uh, good survival outcomes in osteosarcoma the, regarding the next bone tumor which is ewing sarcoma uh, the presentation and the clinical symptoms almost all of them are similar to that of osteosarcoma so they are also present in the bones but ewing sarcoma can present in any age it can present from younger children it can present in older children it can present in adolescents and it can present in any part of the bone it usually presents in the middle part of the bones that is it can present in middle part of the thigh middle part of the leg middle part of the arm it can also present in the pelvic bones and the vertebral bones so the diagnosis is almost similar to osteosarcoma the child will be initially done an x-ray followed by an mri followed by bone biopsy 
and after bone biopsy once the pathologist confirms that it is having sarcoma again uh, the uh, the whether the disease has spread to other parts of the body it for that pet ct scan will be done and then it will be uh, seen whether the disease is limited to the bone or whether it has spread to other parts of the body so regarding the treatment so first uh, treatment involves as osteosarcoma it involves chemotherapy and surgery but in having sarcoma uh, there is a role for radiotherapy so first the child will be subjected to 3 to 4 cycles of chemotherapy after that the local uh, regarding the tumor uh, treatment planning will be done whether to take up for surgery or whether to take up for uh, radiation or whether to take up for both surgery followed by radiation so this treatment decision will be taken usually involving a group of doctors so many factors are considered in that regarding the location of the tumor size of the tumor and after surgery how much the tumor has responded to the chemo so based on that whether radiation is needed or not that will be decided so after this local treatment then the subsequent cycles of chemotherapy are continued so usually the treatment usually lasts here for around 6 to 8 months so once the treatment is completed the child again will be kept under regular follow up under our both orthopedic oncologist as well as the pediatric oncologist for a period of 5 years the only difference between uh, osteosarcoma and living sarcoma is that in living sarcoma there is an option of giving radiotherapy also if surgery is not possible so if in places where surgery is not possible like in vertebra pelvic bones and all they are the child is usually given radiation therapy means a high intensity radiation will be given to that ear tumor area so as to destroy the tumor cells the outcome if the tumor has not spread anywhere else in the body the outcome is very good around 70 to 80% percent, uh, patients will be cured of with the disease if the disease has spread to other areas like lungs or to the bone then the outcome is limited it is usually 50% or less than 50% in such cases so having said that the main focus area is that early diagnosis is important in bone tumors and survival mainly depends on early diagnosis and so prompt suspicion early referral to a tertiary care hospital cancer hospital is needed to improve this survey thank you